All right. So today we're looking at a acting profiler rack system. I'm about to do a backup and restore of this unit. So once you insert the USB, you can see that you have this USB option over here. Let's do that. After that, we can select backup and restore. And first, we're gonna do backup. This will take quite some time. Okie dokie, so about five minutes later, the backup's completed. Okie dokie, I guess I'll just press exit. Exit, and just grab the stick. And remember to check that it actually has the backup. Alright, so in the USB stick there has appeared a backups folder and my backups. There's one from my earlier. Uh, one backup I did yesterday also, so that's why you see two. Alright, so now I'm gonna try to do a system reset. To reset the system settings. Uh, which I'm hoping will fix my issue. So... So we will hold the system button which is over here and while holding it we will turn on the camper. The instructions didn't say how long I should press this so I'm gonna keep on pressing. I guess I can take my finger. All right, so it seems I have to do the initial setup now. Oh, what day is it? Uh, yeah, that's about right. That's also about right. Enter your name. Oh, fucking hell. All right, so based on the colors, I can already tell that a system reset has been done. And I can also see there's no settings that I know I have placed here. Okie dokie. Hold on. Alright. So, now I'm going to try how to restore the backup we just created. If I could operate this. Highly advanced USB technology. Okay, so USB stick, let's do that. Let's do backup and restore. Restore this time, then it allows us to choose. And for starters, we're gonna use the one I just created, so it's already selected. All right, see how long this takes. Restoring from backup. All right, it's now completed the uh, restore process and now it's doing a uh, boot. And while waiting, we should always practice. Down with the process. Oh. Mm. 
So if the restore is successful, we shall see some cool green colors. Let's see. So after doing the system reset, I tried to see if the issue I had was still happening. I have to say I'm almost like even more confused because the problem was that uh, I'm sending the DI signal from the direct out from the back of the camper and uh, the DI high should send a higher level studio level signal and I was facing an issue that it didn't send any signal so now that I did the restore it was sending signals but it was still low and I saw that oh you can actually adjust the volume of the DI high and DI analog you cannot change that so basically I was able to get the signal out but it's still the same, I can get it only to the same level as the DI analog and it should be higher than DI analog and what's weird is that the DI analog is actually as loud as the DI high so it's like way harder than it should be I think, I don't know I'm getting too confused again. <laughs> so, okay, so we can see the green light here. It means that it has done the backup. I can check my. Uh, yeah, it has the high and low cuts there. <laughs> All right. So. So the main issue was that when I checked here DI high, I was not getting any. DI signal, so let's see if I'm getting it now. So I can check in the door. Yeah, as I suspected. There are no DI signal coming, but I may have been a stupid motherfucker and I didn't know that here is the DI volume oh and it was set to the zero uh, and this is only affected when using di high if you use di analog or di low it should not take any press action so okay now we have it all set up let's see let's see if this mother of all digital Things. Oh yes, it is working. You can see. And uh, here you can actually see, this was the DI. Uh, this should be the level that comes from the DI analog, but this is actually what I'm, I was getting from the analog. So let's do a quick demo. <laughs> Right, so that's the DA high. Then <clears throat> let's see when I turn this to the DA analog, which should be the pure guitar signal with no <laughs> processing whatsoever. Okay, we're getting signal. Let's do a little demo. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird, because uh, I think I think they look pretty fucking similar to me. And the DA analog should be like this, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just not getting something. But uh, I hope this makes sense to you guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know. The main thing is that now I'm getting the full signal again because uh, I was doing some fixings to a recording and I noticed that what the fuck my signal was way weaker than the ones I had done a couple of months ago so now I'm all set for studio work again 
and you can continue playing. So the backup process with the USB stick was really easy and uh, I'm happy I tried it now because you know I do have two campers but when gigging I always have only one and I don't have any spare systems so the least I should have is a USB with a backup in order to restore the system if something goes uh, haywire so so nowadays I will be taking this bad boy with me to all the geeks and I recommend you to do so as well if you're using campers.